Hey everybody, this week let's look at the Spirit Box by Pedal PCB. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I put a video out, but there's no time like the present. So this week we're going to be looking at Pedal PCB's Spirit Box Reverb Unit. Before we get to the video, I just want to remind you to subscribe down below and also sign up for notifications. The Spirit Box by Pedal PCB is actually a clone of the Ghost Echo by Earthquaker Devices. Now both of these effects pedals are going to give you that nice vintage reverb style that you know is maybe something a little bit more pure than the reverbs you see today, but it's done using a Beltron brick. And that is to say that although this is an analog pedal, for the most part, it's actually using an Accutronics digital reverb unit on the inside. We're gonna get to that in a minute, but first let's talk a little bit on what controls you have on the outside. On the outside of the pedal, you're gonna get three controls your depth, your dwell, and your attack. Now the depth and dwell knobs are pretty common on a reverb unit. Your depth will control how much reverb is added onto your signal, so your wet dry mix, and your dwell is going to control the decay of the reverb. What's unique to the Spirit Box and also the Ghost Echo is the attack knob. What this provides is a short delay circuit into the reverb unit as well. I found this very good for slapback or any type of staccato playing, and I think that syncs up pretty well with what Earthquaker Devices was aiming for when I read their design on their website. One last thing before we leave the outside of the device is you're not going to get a volume knob here. So with a lot of modulation effects, especially with delay and reverb, there's a perceived volume drop. So just keep that in mind. You may want to add a boost in your signal here so you can keep everything at a specific level if you're turning this effect on and off. With that, let's open this up and see what it looks like inside. So opening up this enclosure, you can see a very well laid out 125B enclosure. We have top mounted jacks and a top mounted power supply into this beautiful effects board here. Now, one thing that I really like about how Pedal PCB laid out this design with the drilling templates and everything is they actually have you mount that digital reverb unit underneath the effects board, which I just think is great use of space. You actually can't see it here, even if I tilt this for the camera. So what I'll do is I'll put a picture of what that reverb unit looks like up in the corner. So I'm not gonna go into the depths of the effects board on this one, but one thing I do wanna point out is this PT2399 chip here. You can see, I think it's a 16 pin chip. Very, very common chip in delays and in reverbs. And I have to assume this is what uh, Earthquaker devices and pedal PCB are using to get that slap back delay via the attack knob. So that's pretty much it for the Spirit Box by Pedal PCB. The build time on this one is relatively around the same as anything you're going to find from them in a 125B case. So anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour um, to do the maybe effects board and then maybe another half hour depending on if you're doing your own drilling, etc. Uh, really well laid out. I can't say that enough. Um, price wise, it's maybe a little bit more expensive than some of their other items. Uh, that's basically because of that reverb unit you have to buy. They usually flow in the $15 to $20 range. So it does add a little bit of overhead, but you can still get into the Spirit Box for much less than you're gonna get into the Ghost Echo by Earthquaker Devices. But I would always recommend check out both. There's always little differences between your clones and between a manufactured item. And obviously the care that you put into your pedal could be different than the care that's put into a manufactured one. So definitely check out both, see which one you like, especially with your own gear, your own instruments. Let's get into a demo. For this demo, I'm gonna be using my clone 5F11 amplifier. It's like a Fender Vibrolux. And I'm gonna be using my Fender Telecaster with Texas Special Pickups. Have a listen. <laughs>
guys enjoyed that video on the spirit box by pedal pcb don't forget to like subscribe and let me know some other pedals that you might want to be reviewing um, i'm always looking for new sources i seem to be always doing pedal pcb stuff that's just because they just have a lot of interesting stuff but i have no problem going and looking for other pedals if you guys want me to do them so let me know subscribe down below and we'll see you next time thanks